these have got to be one of the nicest, like, crisp. What would you call them in the, in the old states? Like, potato chip. Ever. Anyway. Let's talk about texture. I've been in your world. What is popping guys and welcome back to another tattoo tips video today's video is gonna be on texture now I did a video on texture oh my god maybe it's gonna be like a year ago now I'm sure it's like a year ago and it just showed you like the basic fundamentals of texture and how I do texture you know what that video did pretty well it's still doing pretty well so i'm gonna do another one more specifically i'm gonna go through this tattoo right here and explain to you how i did the texture what needles i used etc 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 okay so here we are at the good old pc now i'm just gonna get straight into it so the needles that i used on this specific tattoo was a 23 curved mag bug pin, a 9 round shader, a 3 round liner, 15 or 13 curved mag bug pin. It's either one of those, I, I don't know, this tattoo was done quite a while ago now, it's hard for me to keep track, but either one of those needles, uh, probably a 7 curved mag bug pin also, and a 5 round shader. Now, starting off down the bottom, if we We'll forget about this little deer down the bottom and the texture in the rocks. Like, we don't really... I, what I do in those rocks is pretty much almost the same as what I do in the actual stag. So there's absolutely no point in going through that bit. But starting at the bottom of the stag, around the bottom straight fur area. Now what I used for this was a 23 curved mag bug pin just turned on its side it's as simple as that there's nothing special to achieve long hair texture now i use 23 curb mag bug pin but that doesn't mean that you need to use a 23 curb mag bug pin you could achieve this same effect with a 15 curb mag bug pin the 13 curb mag bug pin a 17 bug pin a normal mag like you could achieve this texture without using a 23 curb mag bug pin so do not think that you need a 23 curved mag bug pin to achieve this because you do not it is easier to achieve this type of look with a bigger mag than it is a smaller mag however yes you do not need the 23 so what i do when i've turned my mag on the side is i still do my brush motion i still do the back and forth motion only instead of the mag being like this the mag is like this and it's doing this okay across and what I do is I use straight black. Now, I always find that straight black adds the depth into the fur or hair that I'm doing. And then I'll always run the tones over the top. The straight black, like I said, it adds depth, it adds shadow. It, it separates the hair from one another because there's little gaps in hair that's that's dark, that's, you know, there's hair on top of hair, blah, you know, etc, etc. And, and I find that that gives the best look to achieving what I want in the tattoo. Now, also what I do when I've turned the bag on the side is I kind of overlap. So if we're looking at the top, let's say here, and we're going like this, and we, we're, getting in that, we're getting in that fur, and then we just drop down to the next level, and then we, like, come up, into the bit that you've that you've just done we kind of overlap and then like i said what i do then is i will build up my tones around that still using a 23 but also using a 15 and also using a 7 depending on how much tones in there i get the the most possible tone that i can see in the image i don't care so much about getting every single strand of hair that i see but what I do care about and what I do think is important is getting in the tones that you see because you are just going for the look of what you see rather than the, you know, 
break down details that you're not going to get in there. And if you if you did try to get in there, <clears throat> man, you'd be hours. You'd be like eight hours just on this little bottom section. So there's no point. Now coming up to where the straight hair meets the like fluffy type fur thing that it had on the reference. I don't know what you'd call it. I just... <laughs> You know, I just tattoo it. So what I wanted to do was where the straight hair and that fur meets was to not make it so the straight, so the fur hair has like straightness in it, if that makes sense. Um, like around this bit here, zooming in on this bit, you can see that it kind of like mergers like it's not it's not harsh straight lines where that where that fur meets that you know that furry fur type thing i'm so sorry i'm like doing a a poor job at explaining that but like it's all fur so like i'm trying to like you know separate it for you so you can understand a little bit but um where you've got this bit here and you've got this bit here and this line coming down here, like I needed that not to be sharp. I needed it to almost blend in. So when it comes to that bit, what I do is I let up on that mag and I just do smaller strokes. And then after I've done those smaller strokes, I will use a tone to blend over, to almost blend those strokes in. Now moving up, we are on to the shorter furry fur type thing. Now everything that you see here was done with a nine round shader and a five round shader. There was also a little bit of free liner stipple in there also, but let me explain. Now again, you are not gonna get every little bit of, of tone and texture in there. You are going for the look of something. And when I looked at the actual reference, it was almost like like dots, but it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't dots, it was torn, it was shared. It was it was fatter than dots. And I I believe that, you know, looking that looking at that reference and, and looking at the, the needles that I'd got, the the nine round shader was gonna work out really well. So what I did is I set my nine round shader a little bit lower on the vaults than I would usually than I would usually do it because I didn't want to I didn't want the nine round shader to go in too you know too harsh I, again I, I wanted to build up like I, I build up my tones wherever I can and I didn't want it to I didn't want it to come across too harsh too quick so I lowered that lowered the voltage on that nine round shader and I started by just dotting around like it wasn't just dots it was it was a mixture of dotting it was a mixture of shading over those dots just trying my best to get the look now there was also smaller dots in there, so I'd mixed in the five round shader, so I'd take off the the nine, stick the five in, do the exact same thing, and fill in the little gaps that I could get in between on the nine round shader. But then that wasn't achieving the actual look that I could see, so then I used a three round liner, six volts maybe, round about that. I just I slowed the machine right down and I just stippled over the top now i did that all the way through the tattoo all the way through this tattoo was the same thing repeated over and over again once i got the texture in that i wanted again then i went in with my tone there is no point in doing your tone first because what happens is if you are using a dark tone and you have texture you're not going to be able to see the texture that's under that dark tone because the dark tone is too dark for you to see properly so always do your texture first now bringing it back just to the underlip a little bit this was done with the seven curved mag bug pin and the nine round shader i think i did nothing different with the seven than i did with the 23 the only thing it is is a combination um, of stray and um, you know the dotted texture type thing. It's just on a on a smaller scale But using a smaller needle will give the appearance of shorter fur if I was to use a 23 and on that area 
it would look like the the stag would have like super long hair coming off off the chin and that's not the case it's long but it's shorter long hair so a seven mag worked well for that again and then using the nine wrong shader just to get in between and just to break it up had that stippliness as well now moving further up what you'll be able to see is i've got the stipple effect but i've also got the longer hair going in the direction that i need it to go over let's say the stag's eyebrows just for for reference of, of knowing where where i'm talking about um yes so i didn't want the hair again to be the longer hair to be too prominent but I needed to show direction, but there was, it merged, you know, that the, these textures merged. It went from a shorter fur to a longer fur to a longer fur, and then just obviously branching off in the direction that, that it was going. For that bit, I used a 15. I know I used, I will have used the 15 or the 13 for that because again, it wasn't as long as what the hair on the neck is, but it wasn't as short as what the hair on the chin is. So, I, you know, it's, it's just finding that balance. So I, you know, got the direction in. I'll always get the direction in. Always, 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 when you're doing hair, direction is the most important thing because, again, it gives you that look. Now, what I did with this is I got the direction in and then did the nine and the five and the three just over the top of the directional longer hair and then just toned over the top you know you're not going to be able to see it when when the tone's in there because the tone was was pretty dark but it wasn't dark enough for you to not see the fur and not see the direction and stuff but it's certainly dark enough to hide where that stipple and that long hair meet this whole this whole tattoo was pretty much just doing the same thing throughout the only thing that varied was the tone it's it's as clean cut as that like ev you know people ask how i do these things and you know how these things are achieved and it is just repetition repetition of doing the same thing over and over again and just recognizing you know the little nuances that are different recognizing where your longer hair starts to meet your shorter hair and, and then how to blend those recognizing where your tones are you know it's it's fairly fairly simple stuff that gives such a impactful tattoo so yes but texture guys that's it's that simple it's it's really really not that hard to do just don't be afraid to do it but i hope that's helped you guys if anything i hope that it showed you just how simple this stuff is it only looks difficult it only looks difficult but when you break down the tattoo to the bare forms of what it is it is just different shades different shapes different tones that is it but guys, that is all for today. Again, if you are new around here, please subscribe to the channel. Also, do not forget to follow my Instagram. Also, I do have a Patreon. If you want to sign up to that Patreon, you'll get some like extra perks, you know, questions answered off of me, Zoom calls, stuff like that, depending on which tier that you take. And then I also do tattoo coaching slash seminars type things. To me, I think they're a lot better than tattoo courses. So if you want that, any of that, it's, you know, in the description below. So drop me an email. But guys, I shall see you all in the next one. Peace.